Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be starting a new series, Comment and Reply, whereby I reply to questions uh, on comments I've received on videos and in private messages about how to do specific things in Photoshop and try and answer them directly. So in episode one we're looking at the private message that I've got here which says, is it possible to turn the page sideways in Photoshop? Now, um, there are a couple of ways to do this. Uh, what I'm going to do is just create a new document here. Uh, I think if, you, if, you, if you're looking at a page, you want to go to the International Paper Preset and choose A4. Um, but just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to make a simple uh, 800 by 400 canvas, just so I can show you uh, the best ways to do things. So, I have my canvas here, and I can just type in some text here. So, there are a couple of ways in which you can do, um, you can turn the page sideways. Now, the first one is, um, is not actually turning the page itself, but rotating it. So, uh, I click on this tool here at the top, the Rotate View tool. And now I have the uh, page, and I'm able to rotate the page, and I can do this by just changing the rotation angle. So this is really useful if you want to look at your design from another perspective or you have something in your design which you want to change. For example, you may have some text which is upside down in your design that you want to look at. And of course, Photoshop will allow you to, um, once you've done this, to completely uh, edit um, your text as, uh, as usual. So you can go on the text tool and you can continue to edit text. However, um, if I reset view, if you wanted to actually change the orientation of the page without changing the design, you may want to look at image canvas size. And actually what you can do is flip your canvas size. So for example, now my canvas size is 800 by 400. By making that 400 by 800, what I've effectively done um, by switching this, it's not about doubling or halving, it's about switching the height and the width. So effectively what I've done is kept my design the same, but turned the canvas 90 degrees. And you'll get a message saying that the canvas will be smaller, some clipping will occur. If you click proceed, what that'll actually do is flip your design completely the other way. So let's take a look at a practical example of that. If I have a new background layer and I fill it with a simple gradient, orange to black, right to left, so you can see the design there. Sorry, orange to dark orange, left to right, and I go on my canvas size, and I do change my canvas size, uh, and I flip the sizes around. Some clipping will occur, that's fine, but what I've effectively done is turned the page around, but kept the design the same. So if I were to click on this layer here, and simply rotate it, you'll notice that it completely fills the screen because all we've done is change the orientation of the page. So I hope that answers your questions. Please leave all your comments, queries, uh, and any other questions you have in the comments section below or in a private message, and I will try and answer them in the coming question and answer videos. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you soon.